In the days following the asteroid's arrival, a series of plagues have been unleashed on the planet. Firestorms, earthquakes, sandstorms, and towering tsunamis. But these are only the outward signs of a catastrophe that reaches much deeper. Across the continents, thousands of dinosaurs may be walking, but their species are already dead. Because to survive, any species needs to maintain a critical mass of population. Fall below that threshold, and there's no way to climb back from certain extinction. The final nail in the coffin may take a while to develop, but it's no less deadly and no less final. The coup de grace for the dinosaurs comes from inside the planet. Because when a rock 10 kilometers across slams into the Earth at 72,000 kilometers per hour, it shoots a million megatons of energy straight into the ground. Seismic shock waves ripple through the planet. The aftershocks continue for months as tectonic plates shear and tear. Deep inside the planet, they trigger molten rock to force its way to the surface through newly formed fractures. Until it explodes from the Earth's crust in violent volcanic eruptions. The seismic waves awaken dormant volcanoes around the world. Adding to the debris clouds of dust and toxic gases that already surround the globe. The shroud is already many kilometers deep. A thick blanket, stopping light and warmth reaching the Earth's surface. The planet plunges further into a nuclear winter. In the days and weeks that follow, the only growth to thrive is fungus, which lives off the rotting remains. Here in Mongolia, few signs of dinosaurs remain. Starving Coronosaurus, the future looks bleak. But it stays near the cave that has saved it twice in the past. The watering hole that once provided plenty. But the last Coronosaurus doesn't fall victim to starvation. Bubbling to the surface is one of nature's most toxic gases, hydrogen sulfide. Released from deep underground by volcanic activity, it collects invisibly in low-lying areas, like the waterhole's natural basin. The gas paralyzes the lungs, making escape impossible, then it kills by suffocation. What was once a refuge is transformed into a death trap. The last dinosaur in this part of Mongolia is dead. Mexico, too, is a graveyard. Just 800 kilometers from ground zero, 
it's been hit by wave after wave of devastation. There would seem to be little else that nature could throw at it. And yet, amidst all this destruction, beneath a thin layer of charred soil, a lone Alamosaurus egg survives.